Medical research has led to greater control of the infectious microbes that affect our world. Despite these advances, much work remains to be done to reduce the threat of diseases such as Ebola and pandemic influenza. At the Integrated Research Facility, or IRF, in Frederick, Maryland, scientists with the National Institutes of Health study infectious agents safely and securely. According to Chief Scientist Dr. Peter Jarling, the ultimate goal is to develop new ways to prevent, diagnose, and treat emerging diseases. Many of these infectious diseases are little understood. There are no really effective countermeasures, be it antiviral drugs or antimicrobials. And the more we understand these newly emerging pathogens, the better qualified we will be to counter them in the future. What sets the IRF apart from other labs is its use of advanced diagnostic imaging tools, such as SPECT and whole body MRI, to study research models under biosafety level four or BSL-4 conditions. Imaging space is arranged into adjoining pathogen and non-pathogen areas, allowing IRF investigators to visualize diseases as they unfold without breaching the containment barrier or damaging equipment. In many ways, we've built the equivalent of an intensive care unit for experimentally infected animals. It is the only facility in the world that incorporates this kind of imaging modality into BSL-4 biocontainment. IRF scientists must undergo rigorous training to conduct research in a high containment facility. To avoid exposures, they wear special positive pressure suits connected to a supply of filtered air. They also must follow strict procedures for cleaning and disinfecting equipment and for entering and exiting the lab. The IRF's design incorporates the knowledge gained from years of working safely in high containment labs. With its unique imaging capabilities and research expertise, the facility is a national resource for scientists from academia, industry, and government to address the challenges of emerging infectious diseases. The IRF in particular is unique among the facilities here in that we are open to all qualified investigators and we rely on external collaborating partners for the kind of quality science that I know we're capable of producing.